Oh, I'm so excited to speak to you guys. I have so many questions, so let me hurry up. Swati, I am, was so excited to find out that you were a classical dancer. I started out as a dancer as well. Why did you want to go from being a dancer to being a filmmaker? All the stories that I have been telling as a dancer were on women's empowerment, and I realized that my outreach was there, and it's great. But I said, I anyway write my own scripts for dance. And I do the music and the choreography, so I should get her story out to a larger audience, and for that I need film. And I said, so I'll make a film. I need her to come out of Chhati in India and take her story to the entire world so they can share in it, and for that I do need the medium of film. So as a classical Indian dancer, most of them sing, they write poetry, and they write their own scripts. And they do make short films, even to back up as they're performing on the temples and uh, do that as lecture demonstrations, which I've been doing for years at the Metropolitan Museum in New York, at Lincoln Center, Symphony Space, and the Brooklyn Museum. You guys are a mother and daughter team, and mothers and daughters, as I very well know, have a very special relationship. My mama lives with me. Oh, so lovely, and my mother lives with me. Okay, so y'all know. So how challenging was it for you guys to work together? It actually ended up working well, and because we had worked on these scripts together, she brought the historical facts to it, and I kind of brought the modern take on what contemporary the stories and how they are told. So we were able to spend a lot of time thrashing out exactly how this movie was going to be. So by the time we were on the set, we kind of stayed out of each other's hair. It was great working with someone a younger, so you're knowing about the contemporary aspects of it. Somebody who has actually a totally different point of view from what I have. And that is a strength I saw rather than a weakness because for years, when I was doing this 200 schools a year, all of my writings, I used to use them at the 200 schools and see the reactions and get free feedback from all my students. So that's always a great way to tweak your stories. That's why it works for both of us. A, uh, you know, there's a trust factor, mother, daughter, that I'm looking out for her, she's looking out for me. We're able to not be sensitive, you know, to taking anything in the wrong way. And it's a team effort where I said, I am using the best of my strengths around me and I would definitely want to make full use of uh, Devika, not just as an actor, but put in the input of good writing or humor into uh, parts of it where I'm going OCD and telling her, no, 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 let's just stay with the facts. Let's just do history. And, and we all had a lot of time to really talk about these scenes as well. So I was, how about we did X, Y, Z? And she would say, absolutely not, no. And then I would try again to tomorrow and the day after. And the day after until we finally settled on a version of it that we both liked. And we did argue. I mean, it was fun. We argued. Like, she'd say, I know how to ride really well. And I said, I didn't hire a stunt actress. I said, just do your job. And then she's like, no, but everyone tells me I ride well. I said, my insurance doesn't cover it. And of course, by the time I was on the set, and she kicked her horse and ran and galloped and said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was like, I saw what you did. I said, just, you know, don't try it again. So, so we did this. I didn't do anything. <laughs> yes, that, you did. You did it three times. That right there is the mother-daughter thing right there. That is pure comedy. Oh, my God. I really didn't mean it. The horse galloped. I said, I saw it on my monitor. You <laughs> dug your ties into him. <laughs> Y'all are killing me. Speaking of you riding, girl, there were a couple of times that your hands were not holding a rein or holding that horse. Your hands were holding some swords. That looked really difficult. I tell you, she still has all her teeth. I, I was very worried that her teeth would be yanked out. So that was just, there's this iconic image of the Ronnie holding her reins in her mouth with a sword in each hand. So that's something we always knew we wanted to put somewhere. I trained a lot here in upstate New York. You know, this is like English riding, like old school English riding that I was learning. And we were practicing, you know, holding a whip in each hand or something else so that I could really be able to ride 
with only my legs. But that took time, and it was definitely something we practiced. It was a challenge because we were training her in India, having her train in sword fighting, and very ancient uh, form of sword fighting from known as Kalari Paeto, which is from Kerala. Honestly, I can say only because she happened to be part of the project and my daughter that I could get her out at 5 o'clock in the morning with the horses because the horses cannot ride later. It's hot for them. This is the first time a feature film has been released on Harriet Tubman, right? Wow. Everybody is very excited about it just for that reason. How excited are you guys to be having made this film, which is featuring, I believe for the first time, an Indian leading lady? What took so long? You tell me. I think that's exactly it. I mean, when you're raising money for a movie, it's a lot safer to have a white male superstar as your lead. Oh my God, more like, what, yeah, I mean, I think it, it's hard for people to take risks and do things that haven't been done prior and unless you have a vested interest in it it's a lot of hard work because it needed so many thoughts and pieces to bring this project not to be just indian or for india because there's so many beautiful movies for india this intent was to share it with the global audience and if that doesn't happen frankly i wouldn't have bothered to make it Well, as a fellow woman of color, I wholeheartedly appreciate the fact that you did this film. And thank you both for taking the time out of your day to speak with me. I know it was a bit of a challenge because of your schedule, but I do appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was great. Very appreciative. Thank you.